Sí. Ah. Ah, sí. Yeah. This, this is it. They still have to stay here. choose the good seed for planting mm. yeah. this is the seed yeah. this okay. is sticker rice and it's still on the shell it's oh. still with the shell if you want to grow rice at home mm -hmm. you need to grow like this okay okay so it doesn't work with our shell like uh, the one we eat that okay. is our shell ah, yeah. this is okay. still with the shell so they form last harvest this one from mm. last season we want to plant it today but you cannot plant it like that. Mm -hmm. They mix thing together with empty grain, light grain, mm -hmm. and heavy grains. Okay. okay. So we need only the good one for plant. Okay. So here, what they normally use for choose the seed, they have fresh water. Okay. They use fresh chicken egg. Oh. They have eating salt. Okay. And extra water. Yeah. Oh. So first, you just put the egg in the water. Mm-hmm. A bit too much. The egg in the water, you see, fresh okay. egg in the fresh water, it sink. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So then, to change the density of the water by at the sodium. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happened with the egg. It's gonna float. Yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Let's see. It still sink. Mm -hmm. That means not enough salt. Okay. We have to add some more. How's the weather in your country now? It's hot. It's hot. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. always hot. Oh. Never cold? No, no. no. we don't have. Uh, Seasons. 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 So we only have only raining, yeah, yeah, rainy season. Just like Lao. Oh, Just yeah. like Lao, yeah. See? Oh, it's now floating. It's float. Oh, it's floating. So if wow. you see the egg, it floats, that means enough salt. Oh. Okay. So enough. Egg, we use just only for taste. Okay. Ah. Salt. In okay. The water. That's it. And then you can cook it. Ah. Yeah. For dinner. <laughs> <laughs> and you put the rice. Egg is float, okay? Remember that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens with this rice. Now. See there? Some of yeah. the rice it sank in the bottom. Yeah. Yes. Some is floating on the top. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so, which rice you think the one we're going to use is for plant? The one that's floating? Floating. Underneath. Sinking. Sinking, okay. maybe? I can tell you. The floating, is this is the one is very good for you to use for. Feeding the chicken. Ah. <laughs> so the good one, it's still in the bottom, yeah. ah, even okay. in the salt water. Yeah. The flow rice, they're not only empty, they're mm. light grain. You know light grain? Yeah. Let me show you. Like this, we call it light grain, okay? See? They are quite fat, mm -hmm. there are some rice inside, mm -hmm. but contain with air inside. Ah, okay. Mm. They are more than half, but not full. Yeah. yeah? If you use only fresh water, it will sink like an egg. Mm -hmm. Take also some air inside. I see. When you sow, they float. And this one, if you plant it, it doesn't work. Yeah. We don't need this. Mm -hmm. That is why we use the salt to help. I see. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Because in one hectare of the land, yeah. you need the good seed, bottom, bottom seed, mm -hmm. 35 kilograms. Oh, wow. For planting in one hectare. Okay. So then you have to choose only the good one for plant. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So you should have bigger jar, bigger jar yeah. a lot of salt a lot mm -hmm. of water mm -hmm. but only one egg okay, okay. <laughs> okay. so now we take the bottom bottom seed up so then you have to clean the salt mm -hmm. if you don't wash them they still cannot grow it's too salty oh, yeah? okay so we destroy your seed okay mm -hmm. and to see how it looks Oh, yes. Big difference, yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Got a good seed. We're going to plant it. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Top time. Slowly, okay? Very slowly. Slowly. <laughs> 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 oh, man. Feels nice. Yeah, it's like a mask. Like a spa. Like a spa, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you have a lot of rice, you have to do a big one like this. Okay. okay. Rice and the mud have to be above the water, not ah. in the water. Okay. okay. So after you finish preparing like this, you just throw your seed on the mud like this. Ah. To germinate it. Okay. So okay. then, during in a week, mm -hmm. you have to water the seed like this two times a day. Okay. Morning and evening before you go back home. Okay. okay. After a week, your rice will grow like this. Okay. The baby, yeah. See. Yeah, the seed. Yeah. Oh wow. Nice. The baby seed. So when your rice is like this, huh? you don't have to water. Okay. You put a lot of water, the water can cover it. Ah, okay. okay. In the beginning like this, they cannot cover because they're not stick with the yeah. mouth. They will wash all the seed away. I yeah? see. Now you can put your rice. Okay. I put my rice in here. Remember which one is your <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'll come back in four months and yeah. make sure. And bring some mango for sticky rice. Okay, so and then after a week like this, this seed they still have to stay here up to a month. Okay. Okay, they have to stay here only one month. Okay. So if you rise that one month, that means it's ready for transplant. Taking it out. You have to pull it up and plant it separate like that. Okay. Yeah. During one month to let this right grow, mm. you have to start preparing your land. Okay. Yeah. When your land your your rice is ready, mm -hmm. your land needs to be ready. Ready as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So now we are going to see how to prepare the land. Mm -hmm. how they plow the soil for planting the rice mm -hmm. with the water buffalo okay. okay but before there we're going to transplant some of that rice for planting later okay okay that is already one month old. Uh, okay, okay. It's a man old. Okay. It's uh, moving a little bit, bit by bit every day. Okay. okay. So how to do, how to transplant? You hold it very close to the mat, okay? Mm. Not a lot. If you hold a lot like this, pull, you yeah. cut it in half. Yeah. Okay. You hold a little hold it in the, in the water. Okay. Pull it up like this. Then you clean like this, okay? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot of rice, after you get a hand full like this, they will punch it like that. Okay. You just hold very close to the mud and pull it up. Okay. okay. Oh, but I feel like I'm gonna break it. Break I know. it. See. Are you sure? You have a. So here we're going to see how they prepare the land. How okay. To plow it. Mm -hmm. So. The paddy is like this, see, over there. Yeah. There's a lot of wheat, grass, and some of yeah. them is rice straw. Mm -hmm. From last harvest, from okay. last season. After the crop, they need to raise the land for two months. Okay. Mm -hmm. During two months, the soil gets harder without water. And we have wheat, grass coming up in the paddy. 
So now it's a new crop coming. We want to plant rice here again. Mm -hmm. First, we have to put the water, put the water in the paddy, make it soft. Then you need to plow it. Okay. You turn everything upside down. Okay. Yeah, turn it over. So to do that, in the very sticky paddy, very deep mud, they mm -hmm. have to do it with the water buffalo. Okay. The buffalo they're not gonna work with the whole land. Just some of the paddy, which paddy is quite deep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have two buffaloes here. One is named Susan. Okay. Susan is free today, and this is Bentley. 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 <laughs> so we have to work with Bentley today. Okay. To work with the water buffalo, they have two words to control water buffalo. Okay. First is hui hui. Okay. And that means go go. Okay. Okay. And then you you that is stop stop. Okay. Hui hui and you you. Hui hui. Hui hui you you. Yes. Hui hui you you. You like you. Hui hui. Let me show you. Hui hui. Hui. When you plow, you need to move left and right. Okay. <laughs> so you flat it by that break and then you can take your rice one man own there and plant it here. I see. Okay. okay. So now we are going to plant rice. Alright. Next paddy there. That Very good. First thing, you have to come back and cut this weed, this grass, when it grow a bit higher. Okay. okay. And second job, you have to control the water. Mm. So as I told you, this water is from the mountain there. Yeah. Okay. And in the rain season, you have to block it. Use only rain water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it works. And all the paddy, they have pipe. Mm -hmm. Pipe. Okay. 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 Nice. That is why so you control like the water level from the yeah. mm. finish to the end. Yeah. That's it. That's so then the why they're always in levels. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the rest of the time during four months to let the rice grow, you can do something else. Mm -hmm. Took to driver, gardener, or worker somewhere else. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then it will be very hard work again, four months. Okay. You come and collect your rice. Yeah. Yeah. Let me show you rice that paddy. Oh, my heart. <laughs> Two and a half month old. Two and, Two and a half. Yes. Wow. Usually, rice in the rain season they taller than this. Okay? okay. Remember, rain season and dry season is not the same. Okay. Uh, rice also different. The produce also different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in the rain season, so for one hectare mm -hmm. and organic farm, you will get rice around one and a half ton. Okay. Mm -hmm. Of the rice from one hectare. Wow. Yeah. Uh, in dry season, you will get less. Sometimes you get one done, sometimes very difficult. Okay. okay. So, so when you plant the rice, the one that we just did, and then it grows and then it comes here, where does the rice come? From okay. the roots or from the flower? i show you. So this two and a half month old, we call it a pregnant rice. Pregnant rice. Get okay. baby. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Rice is inside here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there are many grains. Yeah. All of this form one. Okay. You yeah. plant down there one grain, you uh -huh. get many grain like this. Oh, wow. See. Wow. Yeah. yeah. But this, it's not ready yet. Yeah. Ah, okay. They come out, on the they come out by, by themselves. Yeah, yeah, by yeah. itself. And then they will contain some milk inside. Okay. Yeah. Ah, milk. Yeah. 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 After milk, they will get harder and harder. 
So then, up to four months, they will change the color from green like this, become brown. Okay. okay. You will see the whole paddy is brown. That means it's ready for harvesting. Harvest. To harvest. Okay. You have to in the ground. Mm -hmm. No rice is on the yeah. This wow. is the rice. Ah. That's okay. Nice. So this is the thing. So now we're going to harvest rice. Okay. Okay. Sickle? It's sharp. Mm. Okay. You have it, you hold all of them ready together. Uh, far away from the ground is around 20 centimeters. Okay. Mm. Put your sickle, twist it down, and then you just pull like this. Okay. okay. Mm. How is it? About two or three, like this. And then you grab sickle on the arm. Okay. You choose the long one. One, two, only two, like this. Mm. Put it under. Okay. Make this way short and okay. this way long. You take long one up to the short one, and then you wrap around this like this, and then you tuck it under like this. Okay. Ah. This is done, and then you cut the bunch of the rice like this. Ah. So then you need to dry it first by the sun for two or three days. Okay. okay. The two three days dry, you need to take all this out from the straw. Mm. It's called thrashing. Okay. okay. So I'm going to show you later in the building. Okay. okay. Would you try? Good. 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 Okay. You harvest and dry by the sun. Mm -hmm. You need to take all the seed out from the straw. But usually farmer they do this on the field, not at home. Mm -hmm. Okay. You don't have to bring the straw home with you. It's too hard. Yeah. 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 Carry only the seed or the rice home. Yeah. So we have this stick here. See? Like the nunchuck. Mm -hmm. For thrashing. Hi, <laughs> Bruce Lee. Not, not for fight. <laughs> You have to use this because if you hold like this and press long, then they cut your hand. Okay. You have to have this stick because if you have this in one hectare, you have to press like this uh -huh. one or two days. Yeah. Oh. Three All day. days if you don't have nobody help you. Yeah. See? Like this. Mm hmm. To grab the bunch. Ah, okay. Push it together. One feet, you step here to stop this moving. Okay. Then you smack your right hand. Okay. okay. Over the head. Ah. Yeah. Open like this. Then just lady job is need to clean like this. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. This how it works. Yeah. Okay. Then for the straw, mm. the big straw, the small straw, you cannot collect with the hand. They need a fan. Ah. A fan to help. Okay. 
No, no, no. A menu, yeah, friend. Yeah. Okay, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very close to your leg. Oh, very close to my leg? Yeah, you have to face that area, yes. And then you have to put it over. And then do it again? Yes. So most of the Lao people, Lao farmers, just for uh, growing rice, just for eating. Okay, for mm -hmm. their for their own use. Just some who do for business. Okay. Uh, Lao not export rice. Okay. okay. So after this, after they finish everything on the rice field, they have to start packing and bring all the rice home. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And as you know, in Laos there are three ethnic groups together: the mm Hmong, -hmm. Kamu, and Lao Lum. It's the name of the group. Okay. Mong, Among, Among, Kamu, Kamu, and Lao Lu. Okay. They are different group, and they also have different language. Okay? Oh wow! Any group they have their own language, but any group they have to learn Lao. Mm. Yeah. Lao language is the main language. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there are different culture too. Mm. They have different techniques, different basket to carry rice. Oh, okay. okay. And which is the ethnic group in this area, in Luang Prabang? In, uh, yes, in everywhere they have the all three. three. Ah, okay. Yeah, three. Everywhere, every place. Now in the town, there are many people from Kamu or Lao mixing because okay. everyone needs to come to the town for fighting work. Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. I show you how they carry rice now. Basket, Hmong technique. They carry rice like uh, your backpack. Okay. Mm -hmm. This, this is Hmong uh, style. Hmong style. Hmong style. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not only rice. Okay. They any, Any carrying okay. with, with this basket. Okay. okay. And this is belong to Kamu. Kamu used to with carry the head. on the head. Yeah. About here and then they have uh, walking stick like this. So when you carry a lot of rice inside, you yeah. have to bend down a bit and walk like a grandpa. Uh, like this. Uh. this is Kamu. Kamu. Okay. okay. The last one, Laulum. We'll stay in the lowland, okay? okay? The basket need to be same size. Yes. Same weight. Mm -hmm. They have mm -hmm. the bamboo stick. Yes. Come in like this. Put it on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. One hand put in, one hand is free. Okay. When you walk on the field, it's not balanced. The basket will swing like this. Yeah. So then you cannot stop it swinging. So when they walk with this, they have to swing the body. Like this. Ah. It looks like you walk sexy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is how they have to walk. To balance to it. Ah. If you're feeling her design, then move it to, to the other. Okay. To another side. Like this. You also carry with your both hands, like this, uh -huh. but have to be very wide. Like yeah. This. Okay. yeah. So this hand this here. And then sexy walk. <laughs> like the models. Yeah, yeah, catwalk. Catwalk. Okay, <laughs> like this. Going from one side to the other. Yes. Old grandma is old grandpa is coming. <laughs> <laughs> no la machine. They use it in the past or on the countryside before when they have no electricity. Okay. Machine. So they do by this. Okay. So now in the villages where they have electricity or it, mm -hmm. they use electricity machine already to help for this job. Okay. Yeah. But in the village, not everyone have it. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. Just some of the family. Okay. It's a bit rich family, or they do for business to okay. sell the rice. Mm -hmm. they, they have that machine. It's very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not made in Laos. It's made from another country. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this job, it works with two people. Lady have to sit here turning the rice over by the hand, and man need to work over there. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you how this machine works. Have the head, see, press it down, and lift up. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay.
to working on bamboo for okay. a relaxing place. Okay. Mm-hmm. For for him, this is his job. Okay. Yeah. He still this. So he used to be farmer, mm-hmm. but now he's retired from the work. Okay. okay, good. And some of us, when we come to hiding, when it's too hot or you know, hot sun, we don't like to stay on the field. Yeah, come, mm-hmm. like come to his work. Yeah. Bamboo, it's very useful in Laos. So yeah. They use for many things. Use the mm-hmm. net, basket, trap, building house, mm-hmm. things, yeah? Yeah. Um, but the one you see they use for making house, building uh-huh. house is different, okay? Okay. Ah, it's different. It's different bamboo. Okay. Yeah. The one you use for weave is another bamboo. See? Okay. Like this. See? Mm. Yeah. And bamboo it grow very fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One year it can grow like a six to seven meters the long. Wow. Yeah. Very long, very tall. Mm. But bamboo shoot they use for make a soup. Did oh. you try that? No, no bamboo tried. soup, no. no. You should try some in the restaurant in the town. It's very nice. Okay. Cut here and cut here and split it in half. So it's like the grass, the bamboo. When you cut it and then it keeps going. And if you don't cut it from the root, no, it's going to no. keep always growing and growing. No. No? If you cut the bamboo shoot, they won't grow. Mm-hmm. No, oh. It's like this. Yeah. After you cut it. And then you can continue mm-hmm. cutting. If you want to make a small basket, you cut it very small. Okay. Yeah. okay. Like this. And inside, this is very soft, not good. You need yeah. to take it out. Mm. Oh, it comes like down. Yeah. And the green one, if you want to make hat mm-hmm. or bas- some basket, not good. Not so good. Okay. They used to make something, but not the basket or not the hat. So, what did they use the green for? For make tea strainer or trap. Okay. Trap mm. For casting fish thing. Because this would be good for that the water doesn't come in, no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a bit hard to do. Yeah. Mm. See, you do like this, cutting it. Mm-hmm. Keep doing like this until it becomes very thin. Mm-hmm. Very flexible. Wow. Like this. See? Mm-hmm. Mm, it becomes, look mm. like a paper. Yeah. Yeah, and then? You need something to make it fine. Like this. Okay. Grab the finger. And then you use like this. Mm. Yeah, this is to make it very smooth. Mm, okay. okay. Yeah, you can see a boost of this. It's different. One is a 